Hey, it's Chris Duncan here, founder of uh, Conscious Education and the Conscious Education Podcast. Hope you're loving this show and this channel. Today, I want to unpack number six, the sixth reason uh, or mistake that people make when trying to manifest, and that is being out of rapport with their unconscious. Now, if you followed my work, you know that we classify consciousness into three areas, and this is uh, trying to, you know, make sense of something that doesn't make any sense at all you could classify consciousness into as many different ways as you want so we choose three self-conscious you might call it ego unconscious you might call it subconscious and super conscious uh, you might call it your higher self or innate wisdom today we want to talk about the unconscious the unconscious is the part of you that is processing everything it was in charge of uh, your being or your vessel between ages zero and four and then by age seven the self-conscious or ego took over your thinking brain now the unconscious is the part of you that that when you're sitting in a movie theater to get to fright uh, when you know that you're that, that what's on the screen is not real it, it's an aspect of you that you know it's safe to go and uh, talk to someone of the opposite sex or you can you can go up and uh, and speak in front of an audience but that, it builds that fear it, it has a memory that basically remembers everything and, and sends warning signals to what you do and don't want in life the unconscious wants you to get safety and to be uh, survive uh, to be survived. It, it, it wants you not to do anything that it hasn't already survived before, which is in stark contrast to what the self-conscious or ego wants. Self-conscious or ego wants you to do new things, different things, uh, go for a better life, whereas the unconscious doesn't want to change a single thing because it, it, by changing, it does something that's risky. Now, here's the challenge. is a, is a lot of people try to, to, to create in life, but they don't have rapport with their unconscious. So they say, I want to go to the gym and the unconscious says no we, we don't want to go to the gym i want to you know i want to sit in it's cold you know i don't like going to the gym or i'm someone says i'm eating healthy i'm exercising i'm doing everything why am i not losing weight and that's because the unconscious doesn't agree that that that, that losing weight is, is the right thing and so your life is a direct reflection of what your unconscious believe is safe or survivable one of the great things about the unconscious and what we have noticed with uh you know the thirty odd thousand clients inside of our 12 month magnet mind program is that you can condition the unconscious ahead of receiving the result so that it knows it's true. Yet the, the unconscious takes everything literally. And this is one of the reasons why uh, many modalities, you know, don't get the results that uh, people are looking for. And that's because everything you do, the unconscious takes literally. So here's the goal. You want your unconscious to or subconscious to 100% agree with that which you want to create, whether that's more uh, wealth or financial abundance, uh, whether it's uh, you know growing a big business, whether it's uh, losing weight, having a great relationship, you know, spiritual connection, whatever it is that you're wanting to create more of. Your unconscious must agree. It must go, that is, that is safe, that is right. And, and so the easiest way to do that is to teach it how it's going to be before it actually has happened. See, the unconscious uh, well, the, the processing system doesn't know the difference between something that has come from the outside, meaning from your senses, your touch, your, you know, your taste, your smell, your sound, your sight. It doesn't know if it came from there or if it was you making the image up. And we all know this is true because we can have an image in our mind. We can have a nightmare. We can have a sexual fantasy. We can think about an experience we've had and we can feel it in our body. See, the body just gets the feeling. And the reason is, is because, you know, our touch, you know, our five senses, touch, sight, smell and taste and everything else is, is just a sensory input to what comes in. Okay. And then what happens is the unconscious gets the message. So you're, you're a lot of times replaying images from the past. If you just switch that and you change those images uh, to being images of that, which you want to create, your unconscious doesn't know that that's not what you've already experienced. And that's a very, very interesting thing to do is to be able to tune in and become it. Now, a lot of people, when I say this, I go, but Chris, I, I uh, you know, I don't see things in my mind. And, and there's, there's many different ways that we uh, create what we're going to call images in our mind. Some of us are clairvoyant. We can, we can see images and we can teach our unconscious uh, through images. Some of us are clairsentient, we feel, so some of us are clear audio, uh, auditory or audience, and, and we, we hear and we can get the sound of what it would be like. And, and some of us are clear cognizant and we're just able to know. What I found is the fastest way to do this is to choose that which you want to create. Create three different pitches, one, two, and three, of, of moments in time 
of events that you will be uh, actually uh, experiencing after you have already got the result. So you ask the question, if I had the financial abundance, what are three different moments in life that I would be experiencing if I already had that? And so what you do is you put your body into a moment that is beyond that which you want to create. And by doing this, you teach your unconscious that, that is, those are safe moments. If it agrees and experiences these moments enough times, it has to then agree that this result is safe. So here's your current reality moving through to your desired reality that you choose. Now, the, the easiest way that I've found to do this is with a uh, emotional and visual meditation. We have some of these on our website if you'd like to check them out. And, and you go into the moment and you become one with it. The first thing that you must do is let go of the current reality. So you learn to not be trying to escape this. You learn to let go of this and you become each moment. I've then found what the best way to do this is to build the image up, step into it, bring it up into your mind and accept it as true. I guarantee you, if you do this every single day, you will find that your unconscious doesn't have resistance to that which your self-conscious wants to create. And we call this having rapport between all three levels. The mistake most make is their self-conscious says, we want to be, have a healthy body, and their unconscious says no, they're out of rapport. So if you take nothing else from this video, understand that whatever you have in your life is direct reflection of your unconscious. You need to get in rapport on all levels of conscious. Anyway, let me know what you think of this video. Uh, subscribe to the channel. We have so much uh, coming on out here, whether you're listening on um, Spotify, I'm um, getting the audio version of this, you're sitting in a car or whether you're watching this on, on YouTube or however you consume it. Thank you, hit the like button, subscribe, share it. Uh, it's all free and it's all with love. Talk to you very soon.